time to go to church. It's time to go to church. You ain't gonna find nothing in those It's time to go to church. Stop running. It's time to go to church. Let the church sing. It's time to go to church. I want to leave you with this thought, family. Psalms 118 and 24 tells us this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm wondering how many people within the confines of this wonderful building woke up this morning and said it's a good day. How many people woke up this morning with a smile on your face? How many people woke up this morning Realizing that I'm blessed, that God's been good to me, and today is a good day. The unfortunate reality is, is that sometimes life can be so difficult that we can wake up with a blessing and not even realize how blessed we are. We can wake up with everything all right, a roof over our head, Shoes for our feet, clothes for our back, food on our table, and not even realize how good God has been to us. Why? Because sometimes we recognize the problems going on around us, and this oftentimes causes us to possess negative attitudes. But when we stop looking at the problems around us and start focusing on the power and the promises within us, our attitude, our outlook, our expectations will be positive. This is the day. The Bible says, this is the day. That's the present. Look at somebody and tell them, welcome to the present. If they didn't want to receive it, find you somebody else. Look at them, but don't look at them too mean because I don't want them to get mad at you. But look at them and tell them, welcome to the present. Most of the folk who are upset are not upset about the present. They're upset about the past. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. That was good to me. Most of the folk who are upset are not upset about the present. They are upset about the past perturbed about the past, mad about the past, oh, complaining about the past, calling and talking about the past, living in the past, but don't miss the blessings of today because you're still fighting the battles of yesterday. Tell your neighbor one more game, welcome to the present. Then the psalmist goes on to say that not only is this the day, but this is the day that God has made. That's power. Tell somebody to recognize his power. When you are on the Lord's side, you can recognize his power. And you have joy in your heart. There is nothing that can happen in my life that God cannot handle. I'm going to say that again. There is nothing that can happen in your life that God cannot handle. How do you know that? Because God's got the power. There is nothing that can happen in your life that God cannot handle. There's no situation that can come in your life that God cannot take care of. Look at somebody and tell them he's got the power. If you're sick, he's got the power to heal you. If you're down, he's got the power to pick you up. If you're out, he's got the power to bring you back in. If you're lost, he's got the power to save you. Look at somebody, look at them like you love them and tell them he's got the power. Today is the day that the Lord has made. He's got the power to take care of you. He's got the power to make sure everything is all right with you. He's got the power to give you everything you need. I won't face any problem that God cannot solve. I won't face any question that God cannot answer. I will not face any mountain that God cannot move. I will not face any sickness that God cannot cure. And when I realize that, I can give God praise and glory.
glory for today is a good day. Look at somebody and tell them he's got the power. Then the psalmist says, today is the day that the, God, that the Lord has made. Then he says, I will rejoice and be glad in it. In other words, he says, I'll find pleasure in the Lord. I will be happy in the Lord. I will be glad in the Lord. I will smile. I will laugh. I will have joy in my heart when I think about what the Lord has done for me. I wish I had somebody in here that knows God has brought you from a mighty long way that will say, I will find pleasure in the Lord because the Lord has been good to me. I find pleasure in the Lord because the Lord has watched over me. I find pleasure in the Lord because the Lord has taken care of me. I find pleasure in the Lord because the Lord has taken care of my children. I find pleasure in the Lord because the Lord gives me new blessings every day. I find pleasure in the Lord because every time I turn around, He keeps on making a way for me. I wish somebody, I wish anybody, I wish everybody would declare this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And if you're glad, if you're rejoicing, if you're giving him glory, if you know the Lord's been good to you, find you three people, give them a high five, tell them God's been good to me. Come on in this house, Karen. Put your hands together. Give God some praise and let's have some church.